Forgotten Realms, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2. In English. I got myself a drink. Oh, God, now it's happening down the bottom left. It's got to be... It's got to be a sweet spot where we can do both. Just dye your hair green, and then you'll look bold? Oh, for God's sake, man. Just work for me, please. We're skipping this. No, not a new game! <laughs> we have played too much of this to start a new game. We're in the Onyx Tower. Possibly the last chapter of the game. We arrived in... Where did we arrive in? Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh yeah, that confused me. We arrived in Baldur's Gate as a, a lowly adventurer. We were tasked with going to the Bloodspire Manor. Because uh, there was lots of bloody stuff going on there. Odd. Um, then we got the Harpers that came and gave us the um, the task of of collecting some artifacts. We used the artifacts to get old Salanmir to go through the Battle of Bones with Khan, who is an evil bloke, but was doing the good thing. Yes, Mordok Salanmir and his army of, of beasties. Big C, the Graham family kilt is green, so it would not be family friendly if you wore it. Is that a death counter? Oh, is the death counter right? Ah, oh, it's close. This is actually the Dungeon Keeper one. 81 deaths. The army of beasties. Mainly skelly beasties. But there was some other ones. But yeah, basically, um, the, he, Mordok Salanmir, big, big bad of this game, used his magic and moved the Onyx Tower into Baldur's Gate. Which is nice, because that's where we needed to go. So he brought it to us. Which helps. Um, and now we've been tasked with going in there and, yeah, taking him downtown. Destroy Mordok and his Onyx Tower. Zed! I honestly, man, I was really hoping that you would turn up today and... You didn't let me down, man! You didn't let me down! How you doing? Happy Burns Night to you. I hope you're very well. We love Triple Z here, ladies and gents. The man is an awesome streamer. He's also Scottish, living in Sweden, and doing great things with his time. But yeah. Zed, I don't think you were here for the very first time that we did the... Were you here? You were here last year when we addressed the Haggis, weren't you? I remember that. Um, but yeah, it is Burns Night, and we are going to be addressing the Haggis in about, my word, two hours. Also, apparently I'm stuck. That's weird. Sweetish. He's sweetish. What is going on? Um, none of my spells seems to be working. I don't quite understand what's going on here. What spell is that? Oh, it's the blinking ray of enfeeblement. That's what it was. That must be a very enfeebled, uh, enfeebled dude now. Not sure we'll be able to catch today's, but you would if you can. It would, I would love it if you can, but yeah, dude, I understand life comes first. Uh, always. But yeah, it will be almost exactly two hours from now. Almost. Enchirio, good to see you. Mr. Steel Rose, how you doing? How long have I been streaming? Whoa. 
in, in general or, or today? I mean, I had to literally just restart the stream, but I've been going since uh, about half one. So what, like five hours? I can't tell because the session has now reset. Oh! I did promise uh, Mochi that I would I would explain about Burns Night. My Haggis Adventures. Haggis Adventures. So, uh, Robert Burns, for those who do not know. Thank you, Renata, for reminding me. Was a, I actually don't know the uh, like the century that he was uh, born and, and raised in, but um, he was a Scottish poet known for his poetry, obviously, as a poet. Uh, but you will probably know him best as the dude who penned Old Angsine. 18th century, there you go. And he is... Ah! Such a huge part of Scottish heritage and Scottish history that he has his own evening or called Burns Night. One of the uh, poems that he uh, wrote was called Address to a Haggis. Um, and it's traditional to get a haggis, which is uh, like a oaty, meaty, spicy uh, tube of food. It's a food tube. And... And you, you, you say the poem to the haggis, and then you eat the haggis, and yeah, uh, I, meat tube makes it sound less delicious than it is. But honestly, even if you were explained what goes into a haggis, you'd probably think it sounds disgusting anyway. But it is lovely, I promise. Scottish poet, you most mostly known as the guy who inspired Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Um. I uh, might need to fact check that one. Oh, bum. And now I'm poisoned. Can I steal life from these guys? Yeah, but not enough to deal through the pain that they deal out. Oh, no, no, no. no, that's a life. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. So yes, in about two hours' time, uh, Trenkill will have... Uh... Oh, I'm dead. It's a shame. Um, Trenkill will has, have, have finished cooking the haggis. And the neeps and totties! Like the parsnips and uh, potatoes. Hold me. Hold me. Uh, and yeah. Parsnips and spuds. Parsnips and potatoes. 8pm. 8pm, Trenkill. 8pm. Wait. Oh, it's three hours from now. It's three hours. Trenkill, you are entirely correct. Three hours from now. It's five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. That's the one. Sorry. Sorry, it's three hours, everybody. Anyone else's connection going funny? Uh, it's probably down to the fact that I had to restart the stream, so I'll just call it my fault. And I apologize. I didn't mean to. I do good numbers. I, you know what? I do better. I do words. I do the words really well. Zed, you attempted to get whole surf dinner tonight. It's uh, a similar-ish kind of dish to haggis here in Sweden. Hey, Zephyr, how are you? <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you very much for the host. I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. Zephyr is a wonderful streamer, guys. If you haven't already checked her out, please consider it. She has been a staunch supporter of this stream since very, very early doors. I don't think we'd be here without Zephyr. Because 
Zephyr brought the king in. And those were the first few people that I actually thought, you know what, people seem to enjoy what I'm doing here. Maybe this is fun. Definitely get some whiskey tonight, though. Yes. There may or may not be involved in the address some whiskey. And we may or may not force Trendkill to have some whiskey. <laughs> he won't enjoy it. He won't enjoy it. Ow, I should not have walked directly into that. How's everyone tonight? I'm doing well. I have my kill on. I have... Um, uh, well, uh, Trendkill has has everything set up downstairs to start cooking the haggis. Arrows do hurt. Who knew? Oh, look, it comes from further away than I thought. Easy now, Ginger. Whiskey's kilts and large logs. Sounds dangerous. Always is here at the Retribution. Okay, you should be in fever, right? I've just realised that I've left my speakers on as well. So hopefully you're not getting a bit of feedback on that. Still not wearing the official Frasois hat, so this must be some kind of evil robot version. Uh, I now, I, I very rarely wear the hat because it, it gets in the way of it hearing the games, which is the issue. Speakers are great, always give positive feedback. I find it's useful to be able to hear the games. It's an odd... It's an odd rule. There you go. So you should be now enfeebled. I am shielded as well. 47, 40, 43, 43, 44, 54. Okay. And what sort of damage do we do? We go flame arrow. Nothing, very. Nothing? Nothing. Alright, these guys do not respond well to flame arrows. So, we have enfeebled him. I assume as long as that particle effect uh, sticks around, we're good. You hear games? Hashtag pro streamer. You don't need to do that. We could go straight for Onyx Tower level 2. To be fair, uh, Trenkill, when I said two hours, I was like, wow, time flies. How has it got to two hours already? I'm going to have to cut this game short. But apparently I just got straight... I just straight up got it wrong. Yo, Cambria, how you doing, man? Cast Enfeebling Ray while screaming, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> I'm going to create my skelly boats friend. To help out. How's the life and times of Cambria? Been run over in any parking lots recently? Muchy, alrighty, you gotta go, but I'll see if I can be back uh, in time for the wooing of the haggis. I would appreciate it if you are. If not, I understand. Three hours, not two. Three hours from now, we will be addressing the haggis. Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain, no other pudding race, etc., etc. There you go. Always leave him wanting more. Although right, that would probably leave you guys wanting less at this point. Right, see ho. Right, they're green particles. They're green particles. Yeah. 
KP is debating on getting the official Kraken kilt for your crews. I mean, the alliteration is good. The Kraken kilt, kilt for the crews. If you can uh, wear it whilst eating crusty crackers, that would be even better. Down he goes. Robert, down he goes. What does he go? Who knows? Have I enfeebled you? Enfeebled! Enfeebled. Enfeebled. There you go. Camera, you're having a crisis, but sorted now. Your new TV is far too big. I had to make a makeshift TV stand. Cars avoid you now. Excellent news. Uh, oh, that looks like a lot of gold. I'd quite like a lot of gold. Mm, Levio's heart. Oh, this is actually a very small room. Ow! Like, the tower level is very small. Okay, guys. Thanks, thanks for playing, but seriously. You can die now. Go! Yep. Crusty Crackens from Mr. Crab's Crusty Crab Restaurant. Exactly. They have made some slight miscalculations with the size of the TV. Oh dear. Oh my ears. Now, there is an outside chance that we're going to get to the top of the tower. Considering how small this level is, which is surprising. I don't know why I said it in such a weird, high-pitched voice, but it is surprising. Uh, mainly because the last game, each level of the tower, I think there was four levels of the tower, but each level was giant. Hopefully, they realised that the grind that was the tower in the last game was too much, and they have decided that each of these levels is going to be this big, which is the perfect amount of size. Especially when you put these types of enemies, because they take a lot of killing. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but yeah. Ow, oh, I did it again. Menander is calling to together a team to ransack the local doobly-doo. Easy now, easy now. Anyone played PS4 or Switch versions of Baldur's Gate? I have not. Ow. Oh, come on, guys. Why am I the one getting hit by these arrows? You are definitely bigger than me. By quite some way. Right, you are now in feeble. Zelen! Patrick! Patrick is dead! Yeah. There he goes. That's you, Patrick. It's the equivalent. Oh my word. That was a big old pillage, guys. GG. Nanda, Argoroth, Super Sub, Kitsune, KP, Archetype, Enchirio, Kaido, Pixie, Pill Pal. Big ups! Oatmins from Echo! That sweet, sweet, delicious Haggis Oatmins! Thank you very much, Echo. How you doing today, dude? I hope you're very well. What's the plans? We've got four health potions left. My stupid skeleton has decided just to go off for a wonder. Oh, he's back again. You're a lucky fella, aren't you? Ananda gift in the sub! Welcome back to the Retroverts, Patrick. Five months! Thank you, Ananda. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Cambria, I had that the first time that I moved up to, like, ultra-high resolution screens. Especially watching, like, Blu-rays of old, of old films. The sets look fake. It's so weird. You're only here for the sweet, sweet swordplay. You're not here for the, the haggis? It's Burns Night. 
I'm in a kill. We're rocking it. There's gonna be knives. There's gonna be tartan. There's gonna be a haggis. Some stuff almost looks like handheld camera work. Yeah, dude. And I'd maybe trying to start a hype train. We need these separate people gifting 200 plus bits or subs. Do you know who I am? Echo, the Echo is watching the stream now and listening while he doubles off to make more homemade pizza. Ooh. Such a Saturday shenanigans. Pizza, haggis, Burns Night. Oh my. Pizza, haggis, Burns Night. Oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Thank you very much, Echo Resubbing, for an entire year. You've just earned yourself some gold cutlasses, my friend. Cheers to you. That is 12 months of support. Cheers, dude. Cheers. You're a lucky boy. Gifting the sub to Dr. Rainer Hofstead, which has just started off our very first. I know everyone's going to be like, oh, a hype train. Excellent. Hype trains Excellent. have been done to death, but I've never had one. Agaroth. Echo and Nanda, you guys have just signed off a hype train. That's all I needed. Like, you guys can stop now. I, I don't I don't need anything else. I just wanted to 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 know that the hype train was real. Hello. Hello. Yay! Hype train! <laughs> Ooh, there's like a timer and everything. 420. Of course it is. Archetype! Chucking them 500 bits in! Whoop whoop! <laughs> He'll take a slice of that action. Uh, he will take a slice You're of a that. You're a lucky will. fella, aren't you? Kaido gifted the sub to Cambria Coheed for Cambria Coheed's third month. You've just got yourself some copper cutlasses, courtesy of Kaido. Try saying that 20 times for heart fast Don't while touch drunk. Me. Ari re-subbing as well. Oh no, subbing! Subbing for the first time! Tier 1, thank you! Hype! This is awesome. Thank you, guys. Oh, look at the, the grey bits and bobs. Chivalrous Eric, Chivalrous Eric, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Is that a hype train I see? I, I mean, correct me if I, I have no idea. Right. I tried to get in on a hype train with 100 bits the other day, and it didn't work. I think it was an Anders hype train. Does it? Does there like a minimum bits? Because bits do work, right? Is there a minimum bits? And I'm 100%. Thank you very much. I'm just double checking. Because I got to the end of the hype train after putting like 100 bits in, and I was like, wait, why don't I... Is it 200 minimum? You're a lucky fella, aren't right. you? Okay, sorry. Sorry, but yeah. Okay. If you want to be... Apparently, it's got to be 200 minimum if you want to be in the hype train. But you know what? Thank you very much for supporting Chivalrous Eric. Regardless. I appreciate it massively. Hype train has to achieve two or no one gets an emote. Ooh, Kaido gifting the sub to Enchirito for the 10th month. You guys have been really kind and I love it. I wasn't expecting this. I mean, I have been waiting for the day that the hype train actually gets set off because God, it's been too long. Yay. <laughs> you love me. You really love me. This is true. I do need more train noise. Hype train activation noise! <laughs> Archetype! You get a big long one! Family friendly. More hype boys, Riri. Riri! <laughs> I'm stuck! Oh god! Oh, there's four of them after me! Skelly bones, do something for God's sake, man! No! Can I steal their life? Ah! All right, he's hit his friend. Getting tons. No! No! <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm dead. Rip! <laughs> In hand up with the 500! Thank you very, very much! Choo -choo. I'm dead! Choo choo, mother flippers! Flip those mothers! 55% hype! 
Sub gift or use bits to get to the next level. Cambria come here with 200 bits. Thank you very much, dude. You've not seen a hype train bigger than level two. I've, I have, well, I've seen one hype train and it was in Ananda's channel. Echo, thank you very much for the bit. Bit, the Rufus bit. Thank you very much for being part of the, the hype train start. Does that, okay, question. Hype train question. Um, the three people that started off, so Echo was one of them, and King and Ananda, are you part of this hype train? Like, uh, or do you then have to put more in? Because what you're, all three of you were the ones that gifted simultaneously, or not simultaneously, but within the allotted space and time. Different levels unlock separate emotes. KP, you've seen a level five hype train. Or oh, blimey governor. You have no idea. There you go. We got up to level five on Jimmy the Brush's channel the other day. It went off loud. Oh, it's over to level 500 birds. I mean... Thank you very much. My love, my sorrow, and all of my bitties. <laughs> Thank you for all of that. Both your love, your sorrow, and all of your bitties. I, I will take them. I will take them. Ananda. Oh, God. It's so close. 98%. It just needs a little 90. shoulder barge over the edge. A thousand bits for Ananda. That's insane. <laughs> Completing level two requires combined support uh, events totaling eight tier one subs or 4,000 bits. Thank you for the 50 bits, Coheed. <laughs> oh my God, it's so close. Ta that's that's tantalizing, that is 99. I kind of feel like chucking mine in. It's got to be over 200 bits, guys, if you want to be. Oh wait, no, it doesn't, because that just hit 100%. It doesn't have to be over 200 bits. Hype! I don't know what, uh, what the, maybe it's 100, because the archetype just put 100 in. But I never got my emotes. Although I did go into the settings and put it all to the lowest settings. It's 200 bits to start, but I never got my emotes. Also, level two, you guys rock. Thank you very much to anybody that was part of that hype train. It feels like it's pulling into the station. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. And the 50 counter as well. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Thanks. No, that's safe. Wait. Oh, okay. It's fine. I, I already went back. Bit of man, thank you very much for 10 bits. You guys are going to have to keep track of uh, whether the smaller bits are, are working. Your message is highlighted. I wonder what important thing you should say. Oh. <laughs> do the homemade pizza thing, Echo. Thing do, lad. Thing do. I, I'm the Necroir. <laughs> Damn straight. I'll try. I'll try. Chibros Eric, you've been getting emotes uh, by donating 100 bits. Fingers crossed, man. You guys that have been involved in this hype train? I don't know. Am I de facto involved in this hype train by being the streamer? I don't know. Do I have to give shit bits to my own channel? I gave 100 bits, though. Maybe, maybe I did it right at the last moment. Could someone please drop their life savings on me? Come on! <laughs> Spread the love, it's burns tonight. No, don't. Oh, apparently I'm, I'm, I'm off. See ya! I should get one from this. Yay! Um, I'm going to use one of my... Uh, recall potions. Which does work inside of the Onyx Tower. Gives Frouds minus one and a half grand. Excellent! I'll add that to the minus seven grand. <laughs> uh, okay. What was I doing? Oh, I was just, apparently the recall just... The turn around! I will. He's over here now, isn't he? There he is. Hi, Bartley. Welcome back, friend. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna be loaded in debt till the day I die. Oh, wait. Um, right. 
Why did I come here? Oh, selling some stuff. First and foremost. Oh, I can wear this! Today, the, the gloves, the fine wool oil. Can I wear them? I've forgotten already. You've got debt as well! Ooh, all the plunder. I'll have all the plunder. To be fair, I can... I can willy-nilly add as much plunder as I wish to myself. So... Armor... We are maxed out on armor proficiency. We haven't actually put the damn armor on! Say goodbye to those sweet, sweet abs, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we... Maybe we... Ha! <laughs> I've, I've got it. We're gonna be wear. We're gonna wear everything else, apart from the body. The emotes will be handed out once the timer runs down. But the body on. No, but it's been. It, this is this is the shirtless run. It's the. <laughs> it's why we're here. No, never. Never! We're selling this. We're selling it! Well, He's got a helmet on. What more do you want? I might have gone with you were I younger. But alas, old merchants like me shouldn't be assaulting vampire lords. If I want to be naked, let me be naked. <laughs> Sounds like the time I went to the public baths. Ah, oh, excellent. Hashtag save the nips. Save them. Save them from what? A fate worse than death. I can thank the hype train. Show off your support in chat. Hooray. Let the channel know you've earned a new hype train emote. I got myself a Bigfoot. It's a Bigfoot. It's foot. And it's big. And it's train. Car. Thank you guys. That was 4,000 bits and six subs. Everybody, everybody that just gifted then. Thank you very much. That's amazing. I suppose I could use this time to study. Just know that I will give you individual shout outs after the uh, addressed the haggis later. Uh, guess I should thank the hype train for giving me yet another emote for just 100 bits. Excellent, excellent. You got the Bigfoot 2? I got Bigfoot 5. <gasps> Gotta catch him, Merrill! Bigfoot 5! Midday, you gotta go. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for being here. Enjoy burning your haggis. I mean, I hope it doesn't arrive burning. Burn. Or burning. Burn or burning. I will learn nothing just standing here. But that's more on trend kill than me. I'm so pleased. Thank you so much, guys. I honestly thought for a long time that it was just bugged in my channel. Tomorrow, Fraz will send out. I spent 4,000 bits and all I got was a big foot t shirt. Yep! Get him bones. There he is. Thing do, lad. Thing do. Ah, it's... So, it's a little bit of time yet, Enjurio. Some channels I've seen have a higher start limit. Oh, yeah, no. I, I went into the settings and I made it the easiest possible to, to make happen. And it still just never happened. <laughs> I was like, huh. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That's cool. I like that. That's fun. I hope that was fun for you guys. Because obviously, at the end of the day, I'm the one that comes away smelling of roses in that one because you just gave the channel money. So thank you. Choo choo and enjoy your emotes. Twisting by the pool, I'm a twisting fool. 
I'm also a shirtless fool. That was fun for me. Was it fun for you? I mean, that's not the first time I've said that. I cannot hold anymore. I feel I need a shirt with literally just a picture of my own foot. It's an okay foot. Used to have problems with ingrown toenails. Don't anymore. Because I had the thing where they like burn the inside of the nail. It's fun times. The Monty Python, the Monty Python foot. Apt at the minute as well. Have you started uh, buying things for your uh, your PC build yet, Ananda? I'm building Ananda a new PC, a 700 quid PC, a tower. Put 95% of the components together, or in terms of looking them up online and, uh, and getting the best price from wherever. Must watch all Monty Pythons in honor of Terry Jones. When me and Ananda had a catch up the other day, we did watch The Life of Brian. 700, that's not even a thread rep of CPU. It is, it is a, uh, uh, it's a pretty dang good setup, even if I do say so myself that I've come up with for 700 quid. <laughs> but in an internet forum, I won't be saying. I won't be saying what I've uh, I've chosen because 99 times out of 100, there will be uh, trolls waiting in the wings to be like, oh no, you don't want that. Well, the bloody hell did you buy that for, you idiot? Or other words. It's a streaming rig epic, so you do not want Intel CPU. Rest goes straight in my pocket. Interesting. Intel is bad for streaming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, OBS can utilize Ryzen's multi-core technology better than Intel's. Uh, conversely, though, NVIDIA is better. NVINC is better for encoding uh, streams. Is it NVINC? Is that what it's called? Or NVENC? Is it NVENC? You know what I mean. It's Envenk. That's the that's the lad. YMCA. That's the one. Yeah. So like, ah, they they both have like um, chips, dedicated encoding chips on their cards. It's just yeah, Nvidia's is better. And the disparity be between them is, is not as big as it used to be. Like, you can mix and match. KP, you're going to get a kill. Cheers to that. Oh, hello. We got a friend. Cow. Uh, sounds like you can go into a game store and start conversations with the I have an Xbox and the rep cuts you off. He says, I'm sorry. We don't get people, oh, what, like console, uh, well, no, like PC elitists that are like, I'm sorry, you play it on Xbox? Like, I 100% prefer playing things on PC myself, but I don't go around trying to poop on people that enjoy playing things on console. Uh, I guess if you slap an i9 in, you probably won't notice any downside to using Intel. Uh, but AMD always has been way better bang for your buck in most cases. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all about, especially with building what in... I mean, it's crazy to think that 700 quid is a budget PC. But it is effectively building budget PC, getting the best bang for your buck. 
and trying to match everything up. Uh, what you really hate about current generation Ryzen is that many main boards have tiny annoying fans. See from the i9. No, no, no. It's a second gen Ryzen that an ad is getting. Brazen processor! Delicious. So for actual gaming PC, uh, so for actually gaming PC, it's better to have a Core i whatever or an AMD. Uh, so most of my knowledge comes in waves, and also very much specifically uh, skewed towards streaming. So like, I I couldn't give you too much information about best straight up, just like hardcore gaming PC builds. Um, I don't know what the difference would be. It's just, basically, it's a general rule. It's not hard and fast, like like Archetype says. If you go and you splash out and you get the top of the top of the top, that's probably going to be the best, regardless of who it comes from. Whatever just benchmarks the best. Whatever benches the most. Argyle, you agree? Strictly play PC, don't poop up on those who love playing consoles. But I have a few friends that got interested in PC gaming and I chat with them on an even keel even keel playing field. Yeah. Still play with consoles. They primarily play on PC. That's cool. I find uh, consoles I use consoles to relax. Um, PC I generally like to be sat down and like upright and playing a game whereas when I'm on the console it's generally going to be I'm going to be laid out flat on my back just kind of chilling with a controller whereas it's, it doesn't really kind of work with the, the PC setup you have to be sat up and, and at a desk Nick always you always try to go for best on a budget and, I mean it helps if you actually have a bad budget about six months ago I said to Ananda I was like I can build you a PC. You give me 700 quid, I will build you a spot-on streaming PC. So that's that's always been the uh, uh, the level. 700 quid. Best gaming CPUs are i7 9700 and i9. Nine nine hundred. Nine thousand nine hundred. Why am I saying them in weird ways? It's because they're just weird numbers. Although that's fairly equal, but a Ryzen 5 is usually the best bang for the bucks. Meow. And that's what's gonna happen, Ananda! And you can't wait. Well, as soon as the bits are together, like... Um, obviously, I need to still choose the the, the drives for you. You're going to be ending up with one solid state and one hard drive. Pretty, honestly, that one is pretty standard for me. Okay. Solid state, no less. Hard drive for the games. Uh, and that... Was the dough done? Now you just gotta wait 30 minutes for it to swell or however you call it. Yes, to rise, indeed. By right, next weekend, they'll all be ordered. To be fair, SSD for the games is becoming affordable. Yeah, I just kind of want to make sure that for the size of uh, HDDs, you can kind of more bang for your buck. I've got 100 quid to play with to get. Uh, enough space for a nice OS SSD uh, and also a lot of space for um, games and software and yada 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 so that Ananda never runs out and she, you can hold as many games as she wants on the hard drive and doesn't have to really worry about you know, uninstalling one most importantly make sure you get some RGB LEDs in there 30 plus frames from that alone. That's true. That is true. Oh, 
Oh my god, epic. I mean, no, not at all. How much did that set you back? I've got, uh... Yeah, there's my, uh... This is my backup drive. It's one of these rugged drives. It's a good job I didn't just randomly pull something out that I needed. This is my, my rugged backup drive. Oh! I died. I died because I was showing off my hard drive. <laughs> I'm an idiot! All waste away. 47 more FPS if you put a giant vinyl on the case of the window. Yeah, and you've got to put the little stickers in there. I feel like that's missing these days. First PC I built, I loved putting all the little stickers on the side of the case. Yeah. Okay. Let's enfeeble you. Enfeeble you. We've got custom made raid nameplate for yours. The minute you stuck them on, you could run everything at max settings. <laughs> you have one of those uh, Lassie rugged drives as well, replacing the Seagate drive inside with an SSD, though. Fair, fair. I died because I was showing off my hard drive. Thank you for adding the quote and then. <laughs> Go faster, stickers. Ah, oh, a necessity. It's the bare necessities. <gasps> but yeah, it's been a couple of years since I I built a PC, so I'm I'm looking forward to to having a crack at Ananda's. You have just reminded me, though, Archetype, that I do need to put more fans in. The case comes with some. Not all. Down, 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 down. And to be fair, my case, it, the, the fans in it are really loud, so I might just go, just do like a big bulk fan buy and just replace all the fans in my case as well. You should only need two, besides the CPU fan, in fairness. KP, you can dual wield again! Oh wait, no, you can dual again. I was gonna say, what are you doing? Just flailing around inside the ship. Oh, why did I heal through that? Uh, I want to go to 140 fans, because the, the thing it supports, like, 120s, like, I think you can fit three 120s and one big 140, so I'm going to go with the 140s. Top, front, and back. And I have not scrimped on the power supply. I made that mistake once. Do they RGB? I mean, budget builds? But Ananda did say that she wanted RGB, so yes, they do. <laughs> oh, honestly, Epic, I haven't looked into fans yet. That was the last on the list. The next part of the list is looking at uh, drives, and then it's going to be... Uh, after I've uh, settled on the drives, then I'm going to look at the fans. It's going to make me want to build a new PC for myself, though. This is the annoying thing. Especially with Cyberpunk coming out this year. And uh, also uh, Half-Life Alex. But obviously, if I build if I build a rig that can, uh, that can actually play Alex, then I won't be able to buy a VR setup. You know, the thing is, like, I always wanted to do Half-Life as a, uh, as a series. That's not going to happen now until I get a VR rig. The irony is that we still technically have never completed Wolfenstein until we've done the VR game. There is a VR-only Wolfenstein game.
Obviously, you need the Crystal Titan RGB RAM. Oh, of course, because your RAM really needs all of the RGB. <gasps> RGB, RGB. Careful, all those extra fans you put on will last for your autograph. Just really quite loudly in your ear. King RGB! <laughs> A little known fact about King, you can actually turn him to any colour, known to man. Most people, they go a little bit green when they get sick. You can turn him to anything. You just gotta turn him on first, and then he's yours. Obviously by that, we are making the analogy that he is a PC. You see that they made an RGB hard drive that gets too hot because they don't put 35 LEDs in it. So if you use it, you lose all of your data. <laughs> yeah, but you look cool while you're doing it. Oh, the whiskey bottle is open and it's no time to hag uh, handle that haggis. Tackle the haggis. Better to burn out and fade away. Hell yeah, Eric. Hell yeah. My oh, skelly bones die. Me, the haggis, be with you. So, are we going with the old, um, what you call it? The Wellington. You said there was going to be a, a haggis Wellington, which I'm interested in. Dead. Skelly bones. Cheers, bro. Whatever's in here. Yeah, we can't hold anymore. The plus two flawless ring of frost. I cannot hold anymore. Gotta love old janky routers that barely send internet to your phone. We internet can... <laughs> Don't talk to me about internet connection problems, Centurio. Last week, our neighbours cut through our internet line. I didn't have internet. I started a stream, I was ten minutes into a Saturday stream, and then... <laughs> there it goes. No haggis, Wellington, that's fair. My Send my love to Mr. Sub. You're enfeebled. You're enfeebled again, apparently. Which game was it that had the screaming purple bagpipes? I don't know. Although it does ring bells, wait. Screaming purple bagpipes. Super sub, you weren't allowed to go into the loft to get the sword. No! <laughs> Your hopes and dreams shattered. There were backpops in. Oh, there were backpops in Dolph. Oh, oh, it was. No, wait, wait, wait. It was Baldur's Gate. It was Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah, no, no, and Chirito. It was Baldur's Gate. I think it was the first one. I think it was near the end of the first one. Yeah, it was sentient bagpipes, screaming bagpipes that were really good for um, bards. Well done. Well done for, for bringing that one back up. Cheers. Yeah, I think we've got like more stuff for a bard in that room at the same time. Like jester's stuff. Or was that best for a jester? Because there's, there's a very there's a subclass called Jester of Bard. Can you imagine Trinity with bagpipes, oh my god. 
I need to create a piper as another class, as another uh, character. Never the twain could meet. You remember dumb, weird things. I mean, that is a pretty dumb, weird thing, but it's made my day, so thank you. I just know that whilst I am uh, eating the haggis later, I will be thinking about screaming bagpipes. Hail and well met, traveller! How you doing, Magnus? Broken ankle does impede movement somewhat. Some may say more than it should. Some may should say that you should get that checked out again. Get <laughs> a flesh wound. He's not the messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Hi, friends. Oh, bum. No, we can't do this. Not with four of them coming at us. Also, those guys are big and they've got hats. 20 odd minutes left. Mm. Excellent news, Magnus. What campaign? Also, exciting times. I mean, this may actually be exciting times for the stream as well as exciting times in terms of uh, just Ananda being incredibly kind. Nanda got me the Baldur's Gate campaign, the D&D book, the tabletop version, not the... So I, I, I actually own and could play a campaign of the tabletop version of Baldur's Gate. Which would be fun. Hi! You're playtesting a module? Oh god, they're still here! Okay, what happens if we, like, run them over this way? Nobody puts baby in the corner except me. God, their big forks hurt, don't they? Kaido wants to be signed up. It w I, I'm interested to see, uh, yeah, a complete on-rails later. Be awesome. I know, yeah. It'd be hard, because obviously I'd have to put very strict rules on it if I opened it up to, to the community and, and of when and where and how to play and, like, that would be very difficult, I assume, to have have everybody I I could, there every week. Study. But that's, I suppose, part of the uh, the skill of DMing is is being able to like come up with reasons why somebody has just dropped out of the party for no reason when actually they've got their mum's birthday to go to. Look out, Encholito! Less than an hour until you will be a sea dog. Okay, let's do this. We want skelly bones, first off. Get the skelly bones up in here. There he is. Shield said skelly bones. Hello? Die instantly. Hey, Jim. How are you doing? Welcome in. What have you been up to? Uh, have you been at work today? That's that's a very tentacly mags. Superstar must off to address the haggis. We'll be back for mine. Excellent. I'm looking forward to. I mean, are you gonna film it? Uh, I need to. I need to upgrade my Discord to Discord Nitro so that we can put like videos and things on the Discord. Um, but also, I also have no idea how that works. It seems to come in like tiers. I don't know whether like you have to pay for extra tiers, or the longer you subscribe to the service, the better it becomes? I have no idea. Okay, you're now in feed. 
God damn, man. Okay, we need to enfeeble these guys. Ow! Holy hell, guys. Can I suck the life out? Yes. Alright, so that's the only thing that I can do that will hit everyone at the same time. Oh! Rip! God damn, man. These guys aren't playing. Oh, just give me all your money. And we will see what happens. Wait, what? No sword, super sub. You don't have to have a sword to address the haggis. Enjoy Burns Night Sticks. The chat, happy Chinese New Year as well. That is true. You are off for dinner. Have a great night. Thank you very much for being here. Hold up. I didn't reload it. My guy's just going to walk slowly. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. Cheers, Sticks. Imagine addressing the haggis, like you come in, shake its hand, and introduce yourself. That's what I'm going to be doing later. Just going to grab the haggis and shake it. Hmm. Wait. Ah! Oh. You have a headache and a half. You have been at work, Jim. Dang. Is it is it work that gave it to you or is it some other other outside influence? Magnus, during the modern campaign, one player's absence was explained away by saying they were in a full body cast after spraining their ankle. <laughs> love it, love it. And Chirito, you bought a Wi-Fi adapter for your desktop PC. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed for you. King's coming for ya. Argoroth, oh, last time you DM D and D, I created a portal to the underworld, and there needed to be a constant battle against the demons in the underworld. So anyone who ha wasn't there was summoned to that dimension. And oh, and they even gained it. So anybody that wasn't in that current fight, they got sucked to the other fight that wasn't a real fight. No, not an RP fight. There. Ow. Let me. Okay, right. Skelly bones. Skelly bones, are you doing anything, man? Oh, God, blimey. Come on. Come on. What is he doing? Is he trying to heal himself? He's trying to do something. He's trying to kill me, and he managed to. Oh, okay. Right. We have kind of hit a bit of a spike in difficulty. This ain't going well. The lights at work, also tiredness, but mostly the lights. How are you sleeping at the minute? Guess top Wi-Fi. I streamed for the longest time off of uh, Wi-Fi. It was only about eight months ago that I uh, I moved to Hardwired just because the router was downstairs and it was such a mission to get the wire all the way up the stairs, round the stairs, and into the room across the landing. Come on, there we go. Skellybones, for God's sake, man! Why are you not doing anything? 
You have to like kick him into gear by moving far enough away. Right, with this tactic, they should all technically like die pretty much at the same time. No, Enfeeble. Enfeeble! Enfeeble, for God's sake, otherwise I'm gonna die. It's not working. Come on! There we go, now he's Enfeeble. Though he still hits incredibly hard. Mephits or closets or whatever they are! <gasps> Bum! Are you still on Dungeon Keeper? Deeper Dungeon? Yes, we are literally halfway through the Deeper Dungeons, Echo. We got halfway through it today. We were doing it for about... Well, we were on level 7 for about 3 hours today. Managed to get halfway through. And there's 15 levels. So we are officially halfway through the entirety of those levels. Pokey Koki. Fire didn't do anything to these guys, did it? The only AoE is the one that I'm using, Argyle, really, is the is the AoE life drain. We've got Flame Arrow that comes out in a in a wave of five, but flames do nothing to that guy. Have I tried giving it a hug? I mean, no. I mean, it depends where you are in the world's epic. Getting a category 6A or 7 in this place? Probably. I mean, somebody literally just snipped through the internet cable. And it tells you the where and the quality of the cabling around here. Uh, oh, God. Almost instant death. Let's just try and go for the big. Just fill him filled with poisonous owl. Come on, man. Let's take him downtown. Ah, flip an egg. Alright, we just aggroed the other dude. He's down! He's down! This is good. He's crashed, he's crashed, he's crashed. You're working in tomorrow, Jim. Last night you were asleep by 1 a.m. I think. But awake again at half three and five a.m. Up for the worm! The early bird. I assume up a bit. Oh god, don't die, not now. Excellent! Don't die. Fill him with poisonous owl! It's the most effective of all the poisons. We did it. <sighs> okay, so we just needed to focus on Big Lad. Because he hit hard. Do, re, ni, do, do, re, ni, do. Hopefully you can try and get some rest. Yeah. 
rest is majorly important, so fingers crossed for you. Teleport back for pots? I don't I don't think I need pots at the minute. I've already stocked up quite badly. Qu quite badly? No, I haven't stocked up badly. I've stocked up quite well. The feel better sparkles, KP. get that, but at the same time internet here is mostly sub, uh is at most 7 megabit yeah 7 meg is probably not worth um, forking out for the best is that, I assume that's, that's part of the infrastructure rather than the provider What's he done? Is he dead? Yeah, he is. I love how the difficulty of many monsters in this game is solely determined by their turning radius. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna grab a coffee! Oh, nice. Enjoy. So, in my brain, there's only gonna be four levels to this. However, like, realistically, there should be, like, 50 levels to this tower, the size of it. But I'm hoping that it kind of just skips by the idea of, of making it realistic and just goes, in. ah, yes, four. That's a nice enough amount of levels to be hacking through. This guy again and again and again, so he can't hit us that bad. Let the fireball and ourselves attack him. Feebleman. In Feebleman. Here he goes! Uh, all you do is twitch in YouTube, literally live in a broken RV with an extension cord shoved through the window. Got a TV, PS4, and a Switch. That's about it. I mean, what more do you need? Epic, you got the mail yesterday that your provider now offers 175. Um, wow. Wow. Ten euros more. Wait, 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 wait. You pay a hundred euros a month? That's a lot of euros. Is that what I'm getting here? I may have got that wrong. Also, I'm not entirely sure what a lot of euros is anymore. And uh, technically, it now has enough for another sound command, but we'll wait to see if you have enough. Uh, so, wait till you have enough so that you can pillage as well. Uh, well, that will be uh, the the gift back for all of the uh, the subs and the bits that you just gave me for the uh, through the hype train. So it's good to know that the system works. Through your generosity to me, you get a little kickback, which is nice. Ooh, KP taking down the king. About one out of four so far. Currently I have 100 meg and 175 would be 10 euros more than the 40 you pay now. Okay, that's more... That makes more sense. Mr. City that used to live in that offered up 940 meg. There is no up and down? Here. Upload? To basically like a terabyte upload speed. Hype train hype! Thank you so much guys for setting that off. You're too kind. 
does make me wonder why I didn't get my emote when I definitely put 100 bits in the other day. Giga? Oh, yeah, that's mega, isn't it? <laughs> that would be awesome. One terabyte. I mean, it's going to happen. The way that, you know, technology progresses. It will just be a, a matter of how long. Look at those days. I'm going to be old and grey. Go B. So I'm put up one gigabit internet by you. Yeah, that's the one, sorry. Uh, should have your founder's badge too? Right, broke it, yeah. Who knows? Who blinking knows? Oh, I still think that's because I think I was gifted my first summer as your place. Although that's not a confirmation, I, I, I don't know for sure. Back in the 90s. Can you... Um, yeah. Well, the speed was ridiculous to say about it. Comparatively, obviously. But you all just kind of got on with it. The way the pictures loaded line by line. It was just part of... If you want to see this picture? I'm not saying what picture it would be, obviously. But if you want to see a picture? Obviously, it's just a picture of some rendered... Polygons. The latest polygonal effects. Maybe some voxels. A coarser. Terrible, terrible. Lucky turkey for you, Magnus. No worries, dude. Depending on the provider, uh, that's probably. One gigabit max. The real speed is somewhere around half that, and towards evening it could drop below one tenth. That happens a lot. I mean, I'll still take it. Yeah, businesses, man. Business. Today you become a man of business. What's this? Something. What happened was Google decided to run gigabit fiber to businesses and eventually to homes. They took like three years to get started on it, and that meant. And in the meantime, AT&T ran fiber to like 80% of homes. And that time, despite Google, it was a great time to have homeowners. Ow. Uh, I'd love to own my own place one day. That's that's the dream. Easy there, Ginger. I'm saying four levels to this place. God damn it. Apparently these things were firing magic missiles at us, because apparently our shields completely negate magic missiles. And to be honest, it was because of OG games doing all the same Baldur's Gate that helped spark and fuel your imagination as a wee little lad. As well as Battletech. Sadly, not many new games do that anymore. Sad state of affairs, for, you know. I think it's more about getting old. The older you get, the less easy it is to get that hype going. No, oh, Dread Zero! Yeah, you do! Welcome, man. Okay, now I need to get some more healing potions. One and the same, really. He's down. 
use those rose tinted glass days. Yeah. Crappy homes in the bad part of town still got up to 750 megabytes up and down fiber. Too bad that part of Alabama was full of racists and the town had nothing to do. <laughs> fair play, fair play. I mean, it's not. You can get out. I want to get to the top of this tower today, but I really don't know how many levels. D does anybody fancy a bit of a Google? <laughs> what did I save? Oh, well. It's done now. Welcome back. Right. I'm certain you've everything you need before you approach that tower. I will try. Imperial Defending Light Mace. Not as good as what I have. Uh, right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. All of these. I've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons, and tons, and tons of extra rejuvenation potions. And I... No, I, I, I haven't been close to running out of mana for a long time. Just get rid of all of those. Get rid of these rings, not that it will free up I that much space. I with you were I younger, but alas, old merchants like me shouldn't be assaulting vampire lords in their black towers. He's a vampire lord. Can confirm. Uh, we do want some more extra heating potions. That's the whole reason why we came out here. Let's get as many as possible. Make certain you've everything you need before you approach that car. Can't hold it down. Kind of hoping we'd be able to hold it down. Right. Tell me that's not enough healing potions. And I will tell you to go somewhere. Speaking of fiber, your state is planning to roll out one gig FTTH. For every household until 2025. Really hope they pull through with that. That would be awesome. Fiber to the home. There you go. What am I doing there? I want to read. That's what I want to do. Remember downloading the demo for StarCraft? It was like 86 meg in 1998, and it taking like nine hours on dial up. I remember. The, the whole reason why I said about, like, downloading pictures of polygons, I remember my dad left overnight his picture downloading that was just all these, like, polygon shapes, like a, 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 a shiny sphere, and, and like, they were all different textures, and, and but it was just shapes in, in 3D space. I remember, I remember it vividly being like, wow, computers can do this? It's, it's so clear. I bet you if I went back and looked at that uh, that picture now, it would be so fuzzy. But at the time, it was like, wow, it's, it's, it's like a perfect ball bearing. It's more perfect than real life. I bet it's just covered in jaggies. Multi-day downloads. Don't pick up the phone, Mum. And there goes all of the the download interrupted. Uh, there is also fiber to the building and fiber to the node. Oh, fiber your node. Yes. Uh, your first version of BGT mod play BG and BG in the BG two engine. Okay, it's five gig down. Downloaded from a guy's personal server in 2003. And that was a multi-day download. Nice. Archetype. I still remember how stunned I was when Pars Olive 
an Olivetti P100 was running return to Zork, and there was actual speech. You mean, you mean there's noise that comes out of this thing? Oh, oh, the top of the Onyx Tower. Guys, I'm putting it out there. We might finish this game today. Just check. Looks like there's going to be five acts in this tower. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we won't finish this. As in levels. Okay. I thought this was... I thought this was level three. Hold on. That save, that, that save file literally tells us, doesn't it? Yeah, three. Okay, so maybe there's two more. Even though this says Onyx Tower Top. Which, for the previous game, was where we fought. Some areas are windy, so use caution when standing near place things. Huh. I was almost worried That's you why. wouldn't make it here. It would have robbed me of the joy of crushing you. That's uh, That seems mean. Wow, your head is so shiny that it's actually giving off some glare. Look at that. It's making it all blurry, mate. What sort of dome wax do you use? I bet you could skim a boulder off of it. Fair play. Thank you, Argyle. Appreciate that, dude. Remember, my mind being blown by the last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Being spoken by your Super Nintendo. Mr. Clean's grandfather. Mr. Clean shines umpteen, um, umpteen things clean. Remember in 2002, it just got a 56k modem for your PC. It was really proud of having downloaded Acrobat Reader with a couple of hours. Download it! Legitimately, obviously. Zanhast, you're the vampire that enslaved Randala. I'll be certain to tell her of your concerns while she's feeding on whatever's left of you when I'm through. I've slain far worse than you. Do your best. Also, skeleton! Surprise! Skeleton surprise. And you're now enfeebled. And poison. And welcome to the boss fight part of the game, ladies and gents. This game had such high potential at the start. The first chapter of this game, I really enjoyed. Like, I was having the best time. Now? Not so much. And I don't know whether it's because we're playing the Necromancer. He's trying to steal my health. Oh, he killed my, my skelly bones again. Yeah, just equip the, the hardest... The hardest hitting uh, spell for the type of enemy that you're facing. And spam. Hooray! We love them. Congratulations. All of the fights leading up to the boss fight were harder than the boss fight. Um, right, what do we go with for our last? Causes your enemy... Curse your enemies with the plague. I mean, I'm kind of spamming poison on these vampires anyway. So, meh. Ghoul touch paralyzes the foe. N more poison. Uh, increased speed for me and my allies. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Death energy in an arc. All I will say is fear the soul sucking bunnies and techno raving sheeps on the floor, on the top floor. <laughs> We're glad you've came. Uh, well, I've got 10 points left, and why not? Because at this point, getting one point in anything else is really not worth it. Maybe we could have put that in Ray of Enfeeblement. We should, we should have totally put that in Ray of Enfeeblement. I'm a 
idiot. Fine, all right, never mind. I could reload the save and do the boss fight again, or we could just, you know, take take what we've done. I bet you there's going to be a stupid extra bit of this game, isn't there? Um, I, I want to go back down and save. I assume before the big, big bad, we're going to get a save again, but... What do they say about assuming? You live with your choices. Exactly, Ananda. And this completes the tutorial. Please insert CD2. I was going to say, I bet you I've just really confused the, the game now. I'm going to come out and have to do the boss fight again. Oh, the Plane of Shadow. Doobity doobity doo. Mordok Salanmir. Are you here? You live with your choice, then your choice is reloading. There. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Fear me. Meddlesome wretch. You're wearing a How shirt, mate. Be here? There's no way no you're going to win. It is over. The tower's core is mine. Fear the slickness I of my breast. I draw on the power of the onyx heart. Now, bursting with the souls of 40,000 dead, you cannot possibly Nolly. defeat me. In Trio, your choice is Leet Haxors. Okie cokey, right? There's... Oh, hello. Our skelly bones. Let's shield him. Oh my god, is he doing the same tactic as last time? Where he just turns into a load of bats. Oh my god! The particle physics are pretty damn cool, though. Alright, I like this fight a little bit better. Get away from me! Is this going to be one of those games where they put all of the effort into the last boss? Just so that when you when you finish the game and you walk away, you're like, Ah, yeah, that, that was an okay game. No, that's fine. It was fine. And it kind of makes you forget about the 20 hours of hell that you had to go through for that point. Oh, what I do want to do is use my new haste. Let's put that... Wait. There you go. Let's put that there. Was he saying something about tongues? A tongue? Is he just picking up tongues? Ooh, a tongue. Wow! Look at me spam! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! See, men socks! Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I know what I've been beat. Right. Are we done yet? <laughs> that that sucks, Amanda. Right. Let's shield my dude. Okay, my skeleton does not have that big of a, a, a health pool. So there's no way that this guy's putting out a lot of damage. I mean, I know that I'm enfeebling him. And obviously, we're, we're now hyper fast okay is that phase one or have we nah that can't be the end of the game if that was the end of the game we get a cutscene you have destroyed Mordok Salanmir shatter the onyx heart destroy the tower and free the citizens of Baldur's Gate from his curse I gained 16,000 experience points I've leveled up again let's let's actually you're doing quite well thank you Echo I smell a trap. Are you sure? Are you sure it's a trap? Uh, right. Select. Continue. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, right. Well, I'm going to put these where I should have. Just there. It's a top. This is socks. This is on PS2. Kablamo. Boing. Also, you will have to uh, 
<laughs> I have to excuse me not using the 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 entirety of your name as this is a family friendly channel. Bosh. Raven Feebleman is maxed out. Um a quick burst of running speed? I mean we just got haste. Why do we need that? Uh should we put it in enchant item? It costs less now, so we have more money! Hooray! Is this going to be the end? Is this the end, my friend? Yeah, Miniax. Well, I, we got a shirt, but I decided not to wear it. Because, come on! Check out this, the physique. Socks. You can just call your socks. I've been thinking about changing it. I'm unsure if you can. You can, um, but a lot of like progress in um, like in terms of bots and things. Oh. Oh, you my life adventurer, as do all the people of Baldur's Gate. You are truly a hero. No oh, loads, no socks. <laughs> Wait, no loads, no socks. God damn it, man! I can't get away from your name. It's in there. It's in there. No <laughs> loads, no shirt. That's the one. BXT doing a cosplay. Oh yeah. No shirt ever. <laughs> you can change your name. Yeah, you can. Um, but it will reset a lot of like bot-based um progress because it's all just done on names. So here we have like the rank system. Exclamation mark rank would tell you like how many hours you've been in chat, but it just works off your username. So if you change your username, it resets that. But you can. Um, and then you'll have to wait, I think, three months. If you change your name once, you have to then wait three months before you can change it again. And it, when you change it, your name, as it was previously, goes into like a weird ether where you may be able to get your name back if you want it later, but you may not. Randala, you survived! Because of you, Xanas' destruction saved my body, while the tower's destruction saved my soul. But come, before we celebrate, the Grand Dukes will want to meet their saviour. Three months? I'm pretty sure it's three months. Pretty sure. Come before we celebrate the Grand Dukes will want to meet their saviour. Something's gonna go down. So we're saving. We're, we're saving. This isn't... This isn't the end. Or is it? Maybe it is. The vampire's gambit has failed. Giver of eternity. I'm gonna up this. Baldur's Gate still stands strong. Oh. And what of Mordok, priest? He's dead. Utterly destroyed Almighty Pharaoh in an attempt to hold the tower. His failure cannot be allowed to hamper my sacred mission. We will leave Mulharand and see to the matter ourselves. Raise the tomb soldiers and prepare my sun barge. As my god king demands. Uh, that was that was a uh, a lie perpetuated by the developers, Enchirito. Have you ever tried putting the uh, the the code in? If you put the code in, you explode. Oh, well, that is the end. Right, it was. I think it's just finished. Ah, it was like a. Mm, wait until the next game comes out, which ironically is coming out this year. I wasn't really paying much attention to that because I thought we were going to kind of carry on with the story and that was going to be the new big bad. Dark Alliance 3 isn't coming out this year? I thought it was. Well, maybe, maybe it's... It, it is. This is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, so it's still part. The original Baldur's Gate, yep. Yeah. I, I I count this as 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 part of it, but there is also going to be uh, there is also going to be a Dark Alliance 3 coming soon, right? Yes, you're very vehement here. 
It's not happening. It's not. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know it is. It is. <laughs> so Baldur's Gate three is happening, and also uh, Dark Alliance three is happening. But yeah, they've dropped the Baldur's Gate title from the new one. Oh, you have Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance one, and you have Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance two. There is also Baldur's Gate one, Baldur's Gate two, Baldur's Gate. Uh, Siege of Dragonspear. You come into my house. I no, I don't. I, I don't count as it uh, as a as a spin-off because it's it's Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, <laughs> Dark Alliance. It says it right there. You can see it on the front. The new one is a spin-off because it's not Baldur's Gate. Bam! See that little that little word or the two words there. Whatever it's a game. Yeah, honestly, I don't really care that much. Put a five euro bill into the disk drive of your PS2 to continue the game. I mean, so what happened with the first game is right now we unlocked a weird time dungeon thing. If we completed the time dungeon, then we unlocked Drist. And you can play through the game again with Drist. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Zephyr is 100% correct. If you want to go down the route of what's a spin-off and what's not, Baldur's Gate does not feature at all in Baldur's Gate 2. Because <laughs> you're in Arm. You're not even in the right part of the Sword Coast. At least this, this game is set in Baldur's Gate. The entire game. Well, not the entire game. That's a lie. You do go outside of Baldur's Gate. I mean, your logic is flawed, unfortunately, Rye, but I see where you're coming from. Just agree to disagree. You alright, Miniax? It's not flawed! <laughs> I have a feeling that you might be a little bit <laughs> up on this subject. It's all gravy, dude. It's like you say. Like you say, it's just a game. We agree to disagree. You think that they're not related? I think they are related. And everyone went on their merry way. So that's the end. <laughs> right, dude. If, if you're looking for a fight, you've come to the wrong place. This is a very positive community. Uh, so, yeah. That's, that's kind of end of subject now. Honest question, will you play the Icewind Dale games as their... Okay, so Argyle, no. Uh, there is the... In, in terms of how I rate things, um, the 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 title is, is what is the umbrella term. So if we were doing a Forgotten Realms playthrough... <laughs> you won't go, Sam! You won't go, Sam! <laughs> yeah, if you... Um, the umbrella term for, like, all of the, the like... Dungeons and Dragons games is the Forgotten Realms. The Forgotten Realms. This one has three titles. It's Forgotten Realms, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2. If we were doing the Forgotten Realms playthrough, then yeah, we'd do Icewind Dale, we'd do Neverwinter Nights and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's such a broad spectrum of games that we would be doing that for years. I mean, we've been doing Baldur's Gate for years. So, yeah. Um... No, that's not to say that we won't be doing Icewind Dale as a separate, but it would be Icewind Dale. That would be that would be the playthrough. That would be the series playthrough that we do. Ah, oh. forgotten realms is a can of worms. Worms is long. It wasn't Echo because we started this before we started Worms, and we completed Worms while still continuing on the Baldur's Gate franchise. But Worms felt longer, I'll give you that. So, what happened on the previous game is we went start new game, and then it gave us the option. No, so that was our, that was our, wait, has it unlocked a new difficulty now? That was a, that was a hard mode run, not an extreme mode run. Is that what's just happened? Stop trying to hit me and hit me. 
Extreme Mode starts a new game using characters from a previous game. Okay, cool. Which is why... So um, when I when I checked, that's also why it saved at the end of that last game. Also, why... We, what the dickens, Brad? That's awesome. I didn't know that was a thing. That, that's new. Centuries of conquest and scattered settlements have done nothing to tame the monster-filled... Yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, the start of this game was so good. It was so good. The middle of the game was terrible. But the end of the game was okay. They really just tried to just stuff the middle section full of as, of as much packing material as possible. Just, you know, those styrofoam chips and some foam and, and those little spongy uh, airbags. I do it, I go. Yeah, unbite your tongue. What happened to the pretty vampire lady? We killed her. Nothing. We killed Just her. Standing here. <laughs> she she did. So we've officially leveled up. Let's put something slow. Lovely. Pauline Fowler. That's somebody from Birds of a Feather. Righty ho. Chinese Yun. Ah, oh, is that what that's about? Because it's the year of the rat. I'm a rabbit. I'm a fire rabbit. My lucky direction. Wait, I forgot my lucky directions. I know my unlucky direction is northwest. Never go northwest. Where's northwest? This way is northwest. For me, this is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. See, there's a wall. You're a metal horse, Gemini. That's awesome. <laughs> but at what element, though, Zephyr? Because you don't, you don't only get the the animal, you get the element. The element of surprise! You're a surprise monkey! <laughs> Which, debatable, is the best kind of monkey. Um, we're gonna kill someone. No, we're not. I can't be bothered. So yeah, this is why when I was uh, checking out how long to beat, it comes up with, if you want 100%, the game, it, it takes like a hundred odd hours. Uh, there it is. Dark Alliance 2. How long to beat? This says completionist 144 hours. I assume because that's not that because there's multiple, uh, multiple classes as well, you'd have to do the entire game with one class and then repeat again to get the extreme mode, and then you'd have to do the other classes. Which we're not going to do. This is a one-time playthrough. However, exciting. Oh my word. Oh my word, this really is exciting. I've just... The, the penny has just dropped that we have completed the game. Tomorrow, we will be going back to Baldur's Gate 2. I will learn nothing just standing here. You shut up! Shut up and be quiet and leave me alone. Hell yeah. That's exciting. Sorry, I missed a lot because I was I was going off on one. Forgotten Realms Baldur's Gate Dark Lights 2 featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Icewind Tale would actually be a great game to multiplay with viewers. Hint, hint, cam dog. Hint, hint. <laughs> Epic. Did King Algroth hit you? Did you call him names? Any fries? Fries? I want fries. Fries with what? The vampire lady? 
Oh, I see, Uniax. Do you want to defend her honor? No, she had no honor. She died like a vampire, she is. Fire Rabbit as well, epic. Hell yeah. 87 babies unite. Just 87 babies. Just united into one mecha. Mega? Mega baby. Mecha. Mecha mega baby. Not only are they forming into one, they're also getting a metallic outer shell. Fire monkey for Brad. Throne of Baal. Okay. This is the thing, Zephyr. So, yes, technically Throne of Baal should be the next one. But I think... Considering the absolute epic that is the amount of time we've spent on Baldur's Gate, I think I want to end on Throne of Baal. Oh my god, what's going on with my hair? That'll do. Yeah, this is good. Did you beat the game? Yeah, Assistan! Argroth is an earth goat. <laughs> you can't have everything, mate. You're an earth goat! Oh god! <laughs> Prize one! Vampires have feelings too. The feeling of hunger for blood. Welcome, my friends. Get out of here, you're dead. <sighs> cool. Ladies and gents, that is the end! of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. We put in a fair amount of time into this game. I'm going to be taking the CD and replacing it into the case. So yeah. Honestly, I really enjoyed the start of this game. The start of this game was well crafted. They put a lot of thought into the environment, Once a lot again, of thought into us being work. able to, like, interact with everything. If, the start, if I had to rate the start of this game, easily 8 out of 10, if not higher. Middle of this game got incredibly grindy. In same deal again and again and again. I'll get onto that in a second, System. I just, yeah, not what I was looking for. I, I mean, the the first one, the first Dark Alliance, was a lot more grindy than this. So I'll I'll take take that away. That the, they've improved on it, but not enough. That was like five out of ten. Story was good though. I think overall we're looking at about a seven out of ten. Six or a seven out of ten. Let's call it seven. Yeah, which is right middle of the road. Do I recommend it? Do I not recommend it? Yeah. Your mileage may vary. It's one of those things that. This game, depending on what difficulty you play it and what you enjoy getting out of games, you could rate this as like a 10 out of 10, easily. You would probably have to not play it on hard mode though. Yeah. Fries for fries, yes! Get that trending. Wood rat! This sounds quite whimsical. No! Oh, how is that happening? The CD isn't anymore. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now it's died. <laughs> That's apt. That's the way I end most games, to be fair, is just getting them to kill themselves. Committing Harry Krishna. Sayonara, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. I enjoyed you, but not as much as I could. <laughs>